Hello my dear friends, as promised we are back with a new video and today we are going to discuss about Alfred Lord Tennyson. So without wasting time let us move ahead. Alfred Lord Tennyson, he was born on 1809 and he died on 1892. He became poet laureate in the year 1850. And here are so many compliments which were made by literary figures. And first is John Jane Austen. Here she said Tennyson's work as poetry of the drawing room. For Auden, his genius was lyrical. T.S. Eliot, he said, the great master of metric as well as of melancholia who has the finest ears of any English poet since Milton. Poems by Two Brothers Here he collaborated with his elder brother Charles Tennyson and they wrote Timbuktu in the year 1829. It became a very popular poem. It received prize as well. The Chancellor's Medal for English Blank Verse. Let's move towards his work now. The Palace of Art Morte de Arthur. It was published in the year 1842. And here he incorporated the poem incorporated in the passing of Arthur. Proceeded by 169 lines and followed by 29. Tennyson's first major Arthurian work was this. It described the last moments of Arthur after the battle with moderate forces. It includes his elegy on the round table O delivered to Sir Bedivere. The old, older challenge yielding place to new with the verses from this poetry. Let's move towards another poetry that is Ulysses which was published in the year 1842. It was composed in 1833 and published in 1842. It is dramatic monologue. Ulysses describes how he plans to set forth again from Athka after his safe return from his wanderings after the Trojan War, to sail beyond the sunset. This is the line from Ulysses. The episode is based not on Homer but on Dante, who wrote Inferno and Sixteenth, which Tennyson probably read in the translation of Carey. It expresses the poet's sense of the need of going forward and braving the struggle of life after the death of Hallam. Let's move towards next poetry. Loxley Hall, which was published in the year 1842. It is a poem in trochaics, probably written in 1937 to 38. It consists of a monologue spoken by a disappointed lover. Another work includes The Princess, a medley in the year 1847. Serio comic attempt to handle the theme then known as The New Woman. Tennyson, Tennyson wrote of it to his friend Fitzgerald, I hate it and so will you. It formed the basic of the satirical Gilbert and Sullivan opera. Another work is In Memoriam A.H.H. -H. It is a long series of meditations upon the death of Arthur Henry Hallam. He died at Vienna aged 22. It is an elegy. Okay, it is, it mourns the death of A.H.H. It is written in stanzas of four 
in octosyllabic lines rhymic scheme is a b b a it's divided into 132 sections of varying length a series of poems written over a considerable period inspired by the changing moods of the author's regret for his lost friend and expressing his own anxieties about change evolution and immortality the epilogue is a marriage song on the occasion of the wedding of poet sister cecilia to edward lushington hallam had himself been engaged to his sister emily lewis said the solace and delight of every house where poetry is loved t s eliot said in memoriam is a poem of despair but of despair of a religious kind the charge of the light bridge which was published in the 1854 is very famous work here it's included in moth and other poems which is published in the very next year chief poem is called a monodrama series of lyrics which reflect the love and hatred the hope and despair ideals of the king 1859 1869 and 1889 here editions were made it is a series of 12 connected poems swinburne said our laureat should find it in the ideal cockold his type of the ideal man next is the falcon it is a comedy it is based on a true story from boccaccio the cup 1881 based on a story from plutarch the forester's was published in the year 1892 robin hood themes were another point students this much for today i'll make other videos very soon be with us at 7:30 every day for new videos thank you everyone